So um, I'm going to attempt to wade through this water. Why is I want to see the level by myself? It's not as if I don't believe them, but I want to see it by myself. I don't like water, by the way, but I have my safety boots. So um, are you going to help me? <laughs> Okay, so let's uh, oh my god, look, okay, I have to raise my face because seeing the water alone, okay, it's getting deep, it's getting deep, it's getting deep, it's really getting deep. And this is what this is what people face, people that want to they attempt to to come out. It's not a pleasant situation at all. It's not like going to the beach. No, 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 no. It is not. This is not pleasant in any way. Not that you know, when people were walking, I thought, okay, yeah, they're just reliving some childhood. No, no, no. This is not good. This is not pleasant at all. So from what I gathered, um, it is not an Ogun State thing. The governor of Ogun State has been here. And we're calling on the Lagos State Governor. We're calling on the Lagos State Governor to come into us. This is not just Lagos, um, no, this is not just Ogun State. This is not Ogun State matter. Lagos State should come into this matter too because it's like a boundary. So just standing in the middle of this water, I, I'm already feeling what they are feeling. It is not good. It needs to be dealt with. Um, so if I, if I had gone in, I'm sure this is like standing in the middle of nowhere. It is not a good situation at all. And I have to, to come out. I can't do this by myself. So people been doing it. So I was calling on Lagos State and Ogun State um, government to come together and help the people of Riverbank Estate and Gavel Estate get the experience of um, of this whole situation. This is Isheri in Ogun State, OPIC. It's just on Lagos Ibado Expressway. You can come and see and feel what the people here are experiencing. You're still watching Space.com on LN247. We'll be right back. Rising questions concerning our space. Learn more about people. There's a lot of real estate investment in the country. Why can't we have our own Dubai here? Learn more about life. For the safety of the whole environment. Learn more about community. This is a community. Well, we have a lot of engagement around. You can see this is very cool. Learn more about impact of government. We have to adapt to the rules and regulations of Lagos State. The Lekki Port and the oil industry over there. It's our space. It's space.com. Watch space.com every weekday on LN24-7. Residents of Isheri North, a boundary between Lagos and Ogun State, are appealing to the government to find a lasting solution to the issue of perennial flooding affecting their community. This comes following the release of water from the Oyong Dam by the Ogun Oshun River Authority. The Oyong River Dam is in Abekuta North Local Government Area of Ogun State in Nigeria Southwest, about 20 kilometers northwest of the state capital, Abekuta. The dam crosses the Oyong River, a tributary of the Ogun River. It is used primarily to supply raw water to Lagos and Abekuta, but has potentials for use in irrigation and power generation. Now, because of the flood, many properties are now submerged by the rising waters near the Ogun River. Some of the estates affected are Gavel Estate, Riverbank Estate, Oshonro Heritage Estate, Isheri Riverview Estate, to name a few. The main passageway into these estates are now overtaken by water released from Oyo Dam in Ogun State. Now, residents living here have been sacked from their homes, prompting them to seek refuge in hotels or with family as the situation remains far from pleasant. The only alternative for transportation is canoes and sometimes the bikes, which are insufficient to serve the entire community. 
Okay, we are here at Isheri. Um, Isheri is in Ogun State, and uh, this is Gavel Estate and Riverbank Estate. Um, this is the entrance, and you can already see what people are experiencing here. Look at the fine houses. Is that a church? <laughs> this is a hotel, and the situation now is not pleasant at all. But I have uh, an executive of the estate, uh, Olabodi Abiodo. Please tell us what's the situation like. I know that this is okay. It's near the river bank. They've opened the dam. What's the situation? Everywhere is being flooded. As it is, everywhere is being flooded, and um, we've had, as executives, we've had to evacuate some families. And um, I think as a Saturday, we've had four casualties in this environment, not this estate in particular. Because um, in Isekom, that is the Sherry Estate community, as you know, it's a border community of um, Lagos and Ogun State. And we have um, 22 estates. So this is just two out of the estates that mix up the Sherry Estate community. And um, businesses have been crippled. If you take a drive down, you will see shops locked up and all that even schools in this community we as executive of this community we had to agree with schools to close down because we cannot expose our children to this um kind of um this flood you know it comes with its own health hazard so some people are trapped inside and Individually, we've done a lot. We need the government to come to it to give a lasting solution to this problem. Individual, some estates they've they spent a lot of money to build a, a, to make embankments themselves. That is to tell you what we have done as individuals in this community. We need the presence of the government in this community of both Lagos State and Ogun State government. This is not limited to one state government alone. We need the two of them to come together, and we are calling on the federal government to come to our aid. Thank you. Okay, so um, Dr. Pabiodo, the governor of um, Ogun State, His Excellency Dr. Pabiodo, just left here. What did he tell you? Um, he said a lot of things, and we, we are having another meeting, meeting upon meetings, just to have a lasting solution to this. So, how, 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 what's the extent of this um, flood right now? What's the extent? Where does it get to? Seven buildings. Is that, it's more than seven, seven buildings because it's going, yeah, like ten buildings away from the from the gate. People just walk. You can tell because it's deeper. Yes, it's getting deeper there. This is just um, a minor issue here, but getting to those buildings over there, it's deeper. It's deeper there. Okay. Oh. Okay, so we'll, we'll get the, the view. This is even minimal compared to what we are experiencing in this community. There are some estates that they need to get into their, their buildings with canoes. It's that terrible. If you drive down there, you will see canoes. People get into their various buildings with canoes. The people, it's not everybody that can afford um, self service apartments. It's not everybody that can pay for hotels. So some people chose to stay in the house. And they just got the needs for one week, thinking that everything would come. How often does this occur in, in like a year or two? How it's, often? It's, it's, it's a yearly occurrence now. It's a yearly occurrence. Despite ongoing appeals to both Lagos and Ogun state governments to address the residents' needs, the solution demands are far-fetched. The Ogun state governor, His Excellency Dagwa Abiodun, when he visited, declared a state of emergency on the flooded Isheri community in Ifo local government area of the state, as he assured residents of the area quick intervention to save the situation. The governor added that a comprehensive assessment that will lead to permanent solution to the menace of flooding in the affected area will be conducted very soon. The federal government has shown by this response that they are willing to give us that support. So I want us to first give the president a round of applause for sending these two ministers, high ministers, and also let us give the two ministers a round of applause for making themselves available immediately within 24 hours to be here 
sharing it not. So I, I think that probably before the ministers begin to come in, we should take a drive and go and see for ourselves. Now, legal advisor of Isheri community, Mike Madogwe, says they are not confrontational about the issue. All they need is for the governments of Ogun State and Lagos State to come together and solve the issue. He stressed that Lagos State was involved because the GRA located in the area, which is 6,000 plots, is for Lagos State and also among those areas affected in Isheri. Okay, so um, I'm here with Mike Madogwe. He's the legal advisor of um, Isheri community. So he wants to tell us more about this. Okay, um, the flooding we are experiencing in this uh, environment is not really from the rainfall around here. It is uh, the release of uh, SS water from Monya Dam in Ogu State. You know, surprisingly, the dam is about 115 kilometers from here. But every year we get uh, this problem of release of water at this time. So the question that comes to mind at this stage is that how come we experience it every October? In 2019, we had this devastating flood. And unfortunately, yesterday made it four years, October 22, when we had this type of flood. And the governor came, governor of Ogun State came in 2019. Some of us in this environment, we... We are residents of Lagos State. You know, this is a boundary community. One part of the area is Lagos State, one part is Ogun State. But surprisingly, the Ogun State part, they've always appeared, although we don't receive any form of assistance. If it subsides, they will manage it. If it does not, we manage it. But the Lagos State government, we've not been seeing them. But what I want to say is that every part of Nigeria will experience what we call August break. So the question is, how come no water is released in the month of August? How come this overflow happens in the month of October for just three weeks? So from the investigation, we have carried that on our own. It might not be a professional assessment. The dam is supposed to be a multipurpose dam. It's supposed to be used for electricity generation. It's supposed to be used for supply of water to Lagos and Ogun State, irrigation and fishery. But from what we have seen so far, the fishery business is what the management of the dam is more concerned about. When we say this, they always come up with the idea of we do not understand how the dam operates. But to us, as people who live in this environment, we did not buy land from Bombonile, we did not buy land from ordinary people. All of us bought land from LSDPC. Some estates were located by Lagos State government. So there is the Sinubu estate, LSDPC. So this LSDPC practically sold. So we have a contract with direct contract with the government. We need to be protected. Most of the amenities we have here, if you go down the road, you see some estates, they have interlocked roads. I mean, everything you have there was provided by them. And that is why one of the estates in this area, Ocean Heritage Estate, won the best CDA in Lagos because of what they have spent on I mean, developing the place. Every transformer you see in this environment was provided by individuals in the estate. Every road you see, water, everything is provided. So what do we benefit for being part of this area? Every October, people vacate their houses, and you do not see any form of assistance from anybody. There is no embankment. The river is just directly about 50 meters from here. There is no form of embankment. The only relationship we have with government is that at every point, they keep on announcing those by way of floodplain to move out. Move out to where? Okay, so you're the legal advisor of this one. What, what, how, you, how are we addressing this legally now? Because I, I was asking um, an executive, um, Olabode, and she said you have your certificates and you have even confirmed that you bought it from the government. So how are you seek, seeking legal um, redress to this? That How will people be compensated for damages? Uh, the, the truth is, if you look at... Uh where we have found ourselves and the way the nation is uh, structured, where do we get recourse from? The only thing we are asking the government at this stage we, is more assuasion, in the sense that we need to sit down with them. Can we look at the activities of this dam? This dam was built in 1979. So let's look at the activities of this land. At a point where we, we, we bought land from a, a floodplain, but these lands were allocated by the state government. So ordinarily, if you bring us to a place like this, you should have plans concerning this area. A plot of land in um, some parts of this place is going for as high as 70, 80 million. Along this road, a plot of land is going for 150, 200 million. 
So it is not an area that ordinarily we should suffer this type of thing. But the truth is, the dam has to remain. Is it being used for irrigation? I'm not sure it's up to 5%. Is it generating electricity? I don't think so. Is it uh, providing water for Lagos and Ogun State? I don't think so. The only business that is thriving is the fishery business. Who are the owners of this fish business? You know, I always make reference to countries where they value human beings. All of us remember what happened between Lebanon and um, um, uh, Israel, where for only one person, only one soul, Gilead Shalit, an exchange of 1,097 Palestinians were done just to get him back. So for these fishes, I don't know how they are more important than humans. Because from what we have gathered so far, the dam needs to, the management of the dam needs to explain to us why this thing happens at every October. And every four, four years it is. So it is probably possible that inefficiency in the management of the dam is also part of it. I am not part of the dam, but what we are saying is that Lagos State Government should come to our aid. We can say government just left here. What I mean? No matter what it is what, the people feel a sense of belonging when they see the government preferring solutions, looking for how to find the lasting solution to what is going on. We also plead with Lagos State Government to come to our aid. It is not only Sherry that is affected, all the way to Ikorodu, they are all flooded. So people have invested so much money. You walk down this road, there's an estate called Lekki Gardens. Lekki Gardens has been abandoned. It is a yearly affair. A man has worked in Lagos on something, managed to gather money to buy a property, and at the end of the day, that property is abandoned every year. And it happens in the month of October. So please, it is a problem that can be solved. The dam was built for a purpose. People have canvassed that the dam should be brought down. At least, when we bring it down, the water will find its level. If we have to lose our houses, let them, we're losing the houses. But if we have a government, this is the only time we need them to come to our aid so that people we feel a sense of belonging. This road you see here was abandoned for years until the uh, FEMA, Federal Roads Maintenance, they were the ones that did this road about four or five months ago. Unfortunately, we have lost half of the road because of this flood. We don't know where that will be sorted out. So for us, it is not a legal issue. It is an issue of government to come to our aid and come and look at this water problem. Ogun State and Lagos State government, they need to sit down with all the communities affected and look for a solution that would save the lives of people. Yesterday, a woman that died on something, it took more than a day for a dead body to be brought out. Yesterday in the afternoon, people were to mobilize boys who went into the compound to go and bring the body out. People are dying, people are losing their lives, people are losing their businesses. A lot of businesses have closed up in the area. So we plead on something, with government. We are not fighting anybody. For us as a community, come and see what is happening. If it is rain-induced, we agree. Is a natural occurrence, but this is an occurrence that you can deal with. On something, on something, it's an act of man that can be dealt with. Since 1979, on something, this dam has been there. How come we are feeling the impact, the negative impact of the dam at this stage? This area is even located. Some parts of these eight places, you can't even assess them. Even with a four wheel drive, you can't assess them. So we plead with government to come to our aid. We'll take a quick break for Econotes. Let's see the uses of dams.
Glad to have you back. You've been watching Space.com on LN247, a show that is all about the environment. Our environment focus today is the Orion River Dam that was opened and is causing great damage to the Sherry community in Lagos and Ogun states. So we continued our visit to Oshon Road Heritage Estate, which was awarded the best estate in the Sherry community in 2020. But with this devastating flood, it is becoming a shadow of its own self. Now what we saw in the estate was worse than the devastation in Riverbank and Gabal Estates. The once vibrant estate is almost looking like a ghost area because some people cannot come out of their houses because of the flood. In some cases, residents have left their houses and relocated to some place till the flood recedes. Legal advisor of Isheri community again, Madogwe Mike, who took us round, explained that some of these houses were built on higher planes so the flood didn't get to them while others had the heartbreaking flood to contend with. So after Oshonro Heritage Estate, we decided to go further to some other estates in the area. Now take a look at this road. Do you know that this road, when it is fully constructed, can lead to a Greek Ikorodu from this Isheri community? Imagine the ease of traffic if this community does not go through the normal routes of Lagos Ibadan Expressway. Also imagine the stressless journey of not having to travel that far to Ikorodu and even mile 12 to get foodstuff. Mm, food for thought. So, as we moved further, we met a more devastating flood than we could imagine. It was getting to the wastes of people. This woman you see in the video had to rent a canoe. Barista Madogwe told us that that was how most people transported themselves. Look at businesses, schools, homes, shut because of this experience. So at Isheri Riverview Estate, we met with the chairman of Oshonro Heritage Estate, where we're coming from. He expressed satisfaction with His Excellency Dapo Abiodo's visit to the area and implored the governor of Lagos State, Plawajide Sonolu, to follow suit. Okay, so this is Isheri Riverview Estate, and um, you can see that car. Uh, trying to negotiate its way through there's another estate that is experiencing flood in this opening we're just coming from ocean estate and we have the chairman here with us it it it, it was a harrowing experience please come sir uh what's your name again sir okay my name is dayo ayodogun okay so that estate we came from you can see from the clips that we're showing how the estate is is it's really devastating. Some people can't even come out from their houses. Some have left their houses. What is going on? Okay, um, apart from being the chairman of uh, Oshawa Real Estate, I'm also a member of executive of uh, ISECOM, which is the umbrella body of the all, uh, estate in this community. I'm the assistant secretary general for that body. Um, what we have seen uh, this year is an harrowing experience for all our residents. And uh, we've made attempt to get the attention of the government uh, to come and see what uh, we are going to hear. Uh, thankfully, um, we we're able to, you know, get the attention of, of the state government, and um, we need to give it to them. They've responded. 
On Saturday, uh, we had a meeting in Abelkuta regarding this flood issue. The governor himself uh, was on ground today. Um, our challenge today is we've not even seen any kind of response or empathy from Lagos State Government. As you can see, everywhere you've been to uh, is underwater. And every activity, um, people's way of life have been practically shut down. And um, to even add to that, uh, we've had a couple of uh, casualties as a result of this flood. Um, there have been conversations on how we can tackle this. And that is what we want to see government you know, taking up to do. We can't have a problem that have, have been here with us for decades. And every year, what we come to see is uh, speeches and, uh, and the likes. We want to see the action on the part of government. Um, if you say we are not disappointed with the attitude of Lagos State government, um, um, that, 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 that might not be accurate. We are, we are not really happy that we are not getting the kind of response and empathy. And the question our people are asking is, do we have to Lagos? Do we have Lagos for the rich? where they are affected and there will be response. Or we have a Lagos of the downtrodden where no matter what happened to them, government is not, it doesn't really care. Um, I always ask a question, if it happened that the, the governor or member of the executive are staying within this environment, are we going to have this kind of situation as it persisted today? So we are appealing to Lagos State government. My estate happened to be under Lagos State government. As you can see, this is a border a community that has a mix of uh, community from Ogun and Lagos State Government. And I've, you've been to my estate, you could see everywhere was underwater. We've not asked government for, for much. Um, almost everything we have done, uh, we've not, you know, bothered the government so much. Um, infrastructure, um, uh, electricity, you know, and all, all sorts of things we, we've, we've provided by ourselves. But this is one singular thing we are requesting Lagos State Government to, to come and, uh, you know, to our heads. And we hope that uh, seeing some of this uh, outcry, uh, they, they should be able to show some empathy and come around to see what and what uh, uh, they can do. We've listened to the, to the speeches, to the press conferences, especially the one by the uh, Commissioner for uh, Environment. Or, and we ask ourselves, uh, is it the same Lagos that we are in? Is it the kind of response that we should get? Is it the kind of treatment that we deserve? I think I'll leave it out there for people in authority to judge by themselves. And like I said today in our engagement with the uh, Ogun State uh, Governor, we believe that this area, the problem on this axis is not only in our, on our axis here uh, at uh, OPIC uh, ISECOM. We have people beyond here at Arepo and beyond. It should be a national project. It should be something of concern to our, our Ministry of uh, uh, Water Resources because these are uh, and, uh, and the environment, whatever that is. It should be a national concern because um, we believe there should be that synergy between Lagos, Ogun, and federal government to tackle this. We can't be coming every year to have a, 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 a fiesta of, a, of press conferences and years after talk show and years after there's absolutely nothing on ground. So uh, th that is our appeal to them. We hope they listen. We hope they show some empathy. We hope they show to all of us that we are part of Lagos that we think we are. So you've been watching space.com on LN247. We've been to River Valley Estate, Isheri Riverview, Ocean Road. There are many estates here and they are all flooded where people are. It's a devastating situation. So um, I'm really trying to put myself together to um, finish up the show. I've seen businesses closed, houses locked up, people have left their houses because they can't stay there anymore. Imagine building a house of um, 60 million or buying a house of 60, 70 million and you can't even reside there. You still have to go and rent a hotel for like maybe two, three more weeks before this comes to a normal situation. So 
thank you, um, His Excellency Dapo Abiodu, for visiting here and talking to the people. And also, we call on um, His Excellency Babajide Somolu to also come to this place because it's not only Ogun State that owns OPIC here, Lagos State is part of it. And I'm sure with the action governor that we have in Lagos State, definitely he will be here to see the situation of things and not just see the situation, to give absolute solutions to it. Thank you for watching Space.com. Gimalo Angel, Olorogoke, signing out.